was so much we didn't know about COVID itself, how it was going to impact people, what the outcomes from infections were, would early diagnosis make a difference for that individual patient. So all that uncertainty was very stressful. And there was a surreal moment early in the pandemic. Is this really happening? This is like gonna happen once in my lifetime. Uh, so everybody really realized the importance of stepping up and the importance of digging deep to do what you've never done before. We needed to go from zero to 100 in like snap of a finger. I talked to my lab staff the day before we started testing. I said, this is the moment that we've all trained for. And now is the moment where we step up, we help in any way that we can. In the early stages of the pandemic, my phone was ringing off the hook asking, when is the test gonna be live? In typical times, it could take anywhere between three months to a year. Within a week, we were set to go and start testing for our patients. There's space issues, there's personnel issues, there's workflow issues that you have to figure out when you're doing this mass pivot. Uh, but they were able to do it. Our lab has always had a can-do attitude, right? And that was really highlighted during the pandemic. In order to maintain test turnaround times and then adhere to the physical distancing requirements, we, like many other labs, had to add on a third shift, which for us was primarily staffed by volunteer technologists. So we've got now people who are used to working days and they've got young kids and their spouse at home, who now they're having to work from let's say eight, eight in the evening until seven in the morning. And so they're not seeing their children. They're not seeing their spouse as much. Um, and they're working long hours, they're stressed out. And that was the reality for a lot of our laboratory staff. We were taking work home with us all the time. We really didn't stop working in the beginning of the pandemic. And for several months into it, it was uh, all hands on deck 24 seven. You just came in and you, you did your work. You were so focused on what needed to be done to get through the day. Um, it usually wasn't until I got home and I really kind of had time to think about everything that I had done in the day. It was like, wow, I really worked hard today. <laughs> we truly did work nonstop for the course of the next six months. It was because there was so much to do and so many people were relying on me to, to provide them with information and had questions. They're kind of unsung heroes because patients really have no idea how much work goes into uh, their treatment plan. Their treating physician is heavily relying on information from the lab. These are crucial tests that would allow us to make crucial decisions that would affect the outcome of that patient. I think what this pandemic really highlighted um, was it, it really opened the public's eyes that behind every one of their COVID results, and really any lab test result is a trained medical lab technologist. What the pandemic did was it shone a light on the laboratory because we needed to identify people who are infected with SARS-CoV-2 so that they could be isolated and prevent transmission. That was just absolutely essential. Really the value of a clinical lab has always been there, but I think it really brought the pandemic to bring it to the world's attention and how valuable it really is. My family, when I first went into laboratory medicine, they didn't really understand what it was. Um, most people thought the doctor or nurse was the one who would perform the testing. Um, with the pandemic, it really did bring us to the forefront. We have definitely sensed the appreciation from both the Mayo Clinic um, staff as well as our community throughout the pandemic. The day after we started testing, I was getting lots of emails from uh, physicians that I work with. And I remember one email in particular, he said, you and the lab staff are now on my uh, Christmas cookie list forever. And I'll never forget that, that uh, he appreciated so much that we were giving him the answers that he was needing to take care of his patients, uh, that jokingly, uh, we made his Christmas list.